new artist is <laughs> me. I have never received nothing. You ain't never gave me no Grammy. And I've been singing for years. I am the architect of rock and roll. You ain't never gave me nothing. This thing, you know. The king is still when you've been singing 46 years and you uh, you're the architect of rock and roll and they don't even want to give you credit for that. When I started singing rock and roll, wasn't nobody singing it. <laughs> Listen, when, when I started, woo, wasn't nobody saying that. When, when I started, woo, they weren't saying that. They were saying, woo, woo, woo. You understand me? And when I was wop, bop, loo, bop, bop, wasn't nobody doing that. And I'm going to tell you something, brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen of all races, that don't take this thing lightly. And you, you said, don't take it for granted because your freedom of being in jeopardy, they, they're trying to stop your freedom. See, this country was built on freedom of speech. Shut up. You have a shut up? <laughs> Forgot about it. <laughs> you have a right to sing what you want to sing, whether it's good or bad. You have a right to wear what you want to wear, whether it's pretty or ugly. You have a right to go where you want to go, regardless. You understand me? I may not like it, but I ain't got to buy it. I may not like it, I ain't got to look at it. I may not buy it, I may not listen to it, but they have a right to sing it. You understand me? You have a right to be, you got a right to worship God, you got the right to be Jewish, Catholic, a, 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 a Seventh-day Adventist, a Baptist, Methodist, Pentecostal. That's your right. Can't nobody tell you what type of church you should go. That's your right. to you and it's in the word of God your freedom of being taken stand up for it basically, basically in a nutshell you're saying that you haven't gotten the credit you deserve. I have never gotten it they always want to give it see I'm black and, and, I'm, and I am not wait, a racist wait, I didn't know you was black oh, <laughs> oh they take a commercial I didn't know you know I'm just kidding <laughs> a black singer out of Macon Georgia see what happened to me see they didn't want a black guy to be the one to create the rock and roll because the white kids liked it and they didn't want the white girl screaming over no black boy and by me being by me being a black guy and a good looking black guy And you know I'm not conceited. No, no. I, I've never been that No. You know, I don't believe in stuff I, like that. I hope don't nobody mistake this. I, 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 I hope you don't I, I'm not, you, you all, I'm not conceited. I'm convinced. <laughs> Where do you get all your energy? Man, lately I've been wondering who's been loaning it to me. <laughs> <laughs> womp, womp, loop, womp, 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 womp. Where did that come from? You know, Donnie, I was, wash, I was washing dishes at the Greyhound bus station in Macon, Georgia. That's where I'm from. And my family is very religious uh, people. You know, my, my people, they don't believe in drinking Coca-Colas, uh, 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 Pepsi-Colas. My people, no coffee. Um, Are you Mormon? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and they're, they're real strict. And so what's coming up, I had this job washing the dishes. I was making $10 a week. And it was very hard for me because my mother had 12 children and, and, and my dad, 12 uh, uh, children, 12 children. And, and it was, we had only two rooms and we slept everywhere. You know, everywhere you looked, you saw a body, you know. <laughs> and, and, in the bathtub, and, in the door. There uh, wasn't no bathtub, honey. <laughs> dishes at this place. So one day I went in uh, and, and I was afraid of the, the owner of the place. I was really scared of him. He was a big fat guy and he had a big cigar. And I was scared of him. Uh -huh. 
And uh, I was scared. I was, really, I was really afraid I was going to lose my job, you know, because I needed to help feed my brothers and sisters. Sure, absolutely. So I went in that day, and so I had been singing a song, playing on the piano at my grandfather's house, Wop, Bobaloo, Bobalop, Bam, Boom. I didn't know what it meant, but I said, when he makes me mad, I'm going to say, Wop, Bobaloo, Bobalop, Bam, Boom. So he came to watch these pots, and this pot... All these beans had stuck to the pot, Dunny, this rice, this beef stew done stuck, and, and a beautiful man like me washing this big old pot. <laughs> this pot, but, and I'm pushing my hand down this pot, trying to get this stuff out, and what nothing moving out of the pot. And so he came back, he says, I need the pot in one minute. I said, oh, my God. <laughs> and I said, Lord, have mercy. And I looked down at the pot. I said, said ooh wee. <laughs> and so what I did, I reached my hand. I said, why, Baba Doo, Baba Lock, Bam, Boom. He looked. I didn't know what it meant, and he didn't either. But he didn't bother me no more. <laughs> the testimony you're about to give in the matter pending before this court with the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so to God. Ah, do, 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 ah, do. State your name and occupation, Mr. Penniman. My legal name is Richard Penniman, but I'm known to everybody as Little Richard, the architect of rock and roll. I am the originator. I am the innovator. I am the emancipator. I'm the motivator. I conceived it, achieved it, defined it, refined it, molded, sold it, then the white man stole it. All right. Oh, yeah, stole my woo Stole my wop, bop, 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 bam, boom. Took all my copyrights, put our covers on me. Why do you think they call it rhythm and blues? And hey, Mr. Penniman, do you know Zola Taylor? Oh, yes. Hi, babe. Hey, babe. 